Hey, people, Zara Swamp here, and welcome to episode 65 of the Grace Attorney 2 Resolve. Last time we continued the first trial portion of the fifth case, and we determined that Kazuma was actually aboard the SS Groose. Yes, the Groose from Skyward Sword. Groose, the Groose was loose. And so, we determined that basically that Kazuma was on board with Gregson and was actually set to assassinate Jigoku, though. Kazuma didn't go through with it, Gregson was left alone, and now we have to find Jigoku, and we are checking with Sherlock, who is in now investigating the SS Groose. Myself and my trusty partner are presently in the first class cabin area of the SS Groose. The SS Groose? She left, do she left over last night after the final piece of cargo were loaded. We are currently docked at Gunguk, but due to the underway again in half an hour. You've taken a ship to France? Please, even with my athletic powers, I would struggle to jump the Straits of Dover. I would require at least three pairs of springy sh I would require all the springs from the couch. Frankly, I can imagine Sherlock actually trying that. He takes all the springs out of the couch and the chairs in the in the flat. He ties them all to a, to a pair of shoes and then tries to jump the Straits. After we left Baker Street that night, we hurried by cab to the station by the train to the port. In order to board this vessel in time. So, you mean you'd already worked it out? That the steamship w that the steamship was where everything really took place? Mr. Naruto, pray, what is my name? Herlock Sholmes, world famous great detective. Re recited to perfection, well done. You're a genius, Mr. Sholmes. That's the only word for it. Oh! My, Mr. Usado, gently, gentle, gently with this genius's ear, please. Oh my, I'm ever so sorry. If I may, if I may, Sholmes. Ah, there you are, Mikatoba. You may remember that I was, in fact, I who made the connection to the SS groups. At Scotland Yard yesterday, when we examined that notebook, and I recalled my steamship ticket. <laughs> but of course it was, my dear fellow. And not once did I con contro controvert that fact. I merely had our court-bound companionship under my name. Yes, yes you did, didn't you? We've just entered a recess. The trial resumes in 30 minutes from now. And we, and for I have to present any new leads then, I'm afraid to say... Do not fret, please. It's for precisely that purpose that my partner and I have made this journey. I have no doubt we shall have welcome news for you within the half hour. Thank you, Mr. Sholmes. That would be wonderful. Until later, then. Yes, you'll be hearing from us if you're not in touch first. Ow, 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 ow. I shan't be in anything if you tell you my ear in the, that mindless fashion. Whatever was... Whatever the, the idea of making a receiver operate in that way in the first place, Sholmes. Why the deuce would I know? It's Iris' invention, not mine. She's a mad psychopath. I have to sleep with one eye open. Why do you think I sleep in all the time? I can't. I can't afford to sleep in at night when there's no light. Well, so I know how much you enjoy being the hero of your of the hour, Sholmes. We have but half an hour, half that now before the Groose puts to sea again. If we don't if we don't conclude our investigations rapidly, we shall find ourselves in Napa in Naples before long. Hmm, <sighs> there are times we can do, but when you make a surprising amount of sense. So, let's begin. First class, first class cabin number two. Yes, this is the one. But I don't believe an investigation of this cabin is going to be plain sailing. That crewman standing in front of the door is an angry looking fellow. Why are you loitering here? Who are you? My dear fellow, do you not recognize a world-famous great detective when you see one? The question really ought to be, who are you? Do you not recognize world-traveling great sailor Trishkin Strovanov when you see? Great, de great detective, ha! I don't think so. Do you see that, Mikatoba? It would appear that this man is a devoted follower of mine! He would kill in my name! 
goodness me, is that a tattoo? It says Sholmes. It might must say, while such Irish is blattering, actually, it does leave me a little cold. What are you talking about? Live now! How distressing! My loyal devotee knows me only by name and not by appearance. Bow to your deduction god! Your god of madness and logic! And yet I already know a great deal about you, sir. You have a brother, I believe. Like yourself, he's a shipman. Currently traveling the world aboard a Russian steamship, in fact. Oh, how could you know this? Elementary, my dear Mikatoba. Oh, I'm sure it was. Three days ago, I was bound for London aboard that the ship, you see. We are looking for one of my fellow passengers, a man by the name of Jigoku. There is no one with that name on board. When, but, but we know that he purchased the ticket for passage. Ah, uh, you mean Eastern Man. He left ship two hours ago. He had a time guard. He said something about the emergency, I think. What? Are, are you sure? So, Sh so Shishiro realized that we're after him, has he? His cabin is the one behind you. We should try to investigate, please. No, I have orders not to let even Mouse inside. Hands Big Monster up. Mi Mikatoba, be a good man and draw the sailor's attention away, would you? You, we will tag team him. You go to the left, I go to the right. I will trip him and you will punch him. Make up some excuse so that he leaves the area. Doesn't great detective see that every sailors of ears both left and right. In that case, I will clap those ears. Curses, the plan is ruined. And you have only yourself to blame, I'm afraid, Sholmes. Forget it. Cabin door is locked. Even if I am not here, you cannot get inside. Me get over? I'm sure you haven't forgotten my special talent, have you? Opening any lock? Within a mere five seconds. So if you'd be so kind as to avoid me the requested time, old friend, in your typical accommodating matter. I'll go review such a typically unappealing request, old friend. So I need to distract this burly seller for five seconds, do I? Good man, so. The game is a boot. It's a foot. Mousetrap. This must be a mousetrap, I think. Perhaps I could distract the crewman's attention with this somehow. Try it. Choo choo! I'm a train now! Choo choo! That sounds like a big mousin trap. Choo choo! <laughs> Just right there. I will bring a bucket. I will bring a bucket of water later and put out of mis out of misery. I don't like the sound of that. In any case, my dear fellow, that was quite unconvincing. Only Japanese mice make a chew sound. Oh, really, Shops? Brian, Brian, down. what sound do Russian mic make? Beep, beep, naturally. Though that also sounds quite unconvincing, I really must admit. So go ahead, Mikatoba, do a beep, beep this time. Yeah, beep, beep at the top of your lungs. Meanwhile, Sherlock is probably doing this just to see if Mikatoba will yell pee, pee at the top of his lungs. No, thank you. I'm sure I can come up with an alternative solution. Uh, that's the way back to the deck, but we certainly can't give up now. Ah, the switch for the electrical lights. Perhaps if I were to turn off the lights, the crewmen wouldn't be able to see what we were doing. Ah, what is happening? Where is light? No, no, Shoves, no! Hmm, nobody there. That was a close shave. Quite an act you have stumbling so violently in an apparently empty corridor. Do be quiet, Sholmes. I ha I still I shall have to think of another approach. This would appear to be an alarm bell. All hell would break loose if that thing were to ring. The whole crew would know about it. 
Here goes then. Pardon me in advance. Yo, what are you doing? If we were at sea, that would be very bad problem. What's going on down there? Simmons Droga, for wrote the ones. Sorry, sir. Nothing to report. It was just a stupid trick. No, not by me, by world famous no, as I told you. No job, so done. Not even not even five seconds, eh? Well done. Well, don't just stand there gulping at my brilliance, Mikatoba, and we go! Oh yes. Third of November. SS Roos. First class cabin. Number two. Good gracious! It would appear that the occupant of this cabin indeed disembark rather, rather hurriedly. Those clothes on the floor there, they're Shishiro's, without a question. Well, it seems we are just a little too late. Yes, by about two hours. Still, whilst we're here, we should investigate thoroughly. There may be two hours worth of clues to find in here. But that burly crewman may return at any moment. But that burly crewman may return at any moment, Sholmes. Indeed he may. Which makes this all the more thrilling. Yeah, I love the music. This is the waste paper basket, look. And there's still rubbish inside. Indeed, then let us fry. I discovered recently I have a venture for exploring the contents of others' waste paper baskets. I sincerely hope only for your work. Ah! Here we have a notice issued to the passengers from three days ago. Three days ago? The night before we arrived in London then? When I was still when I was still aboard myself? I Ah uh, yes, there was an evacuation drill. I remember now. For our safety and security, all first class passengers were were constantly under a watchful eye of the crew. So it was a welcome relief to have some privacy for once. Wardrobe. According to the report I was given, Naruto was concealing himself in Ahsoki's wardrobe. Like tr like garbage. Indeed he was. He was so trashy. And it was a similar size to this one. Ah, you must climb inside yourself. You must climb inside yourself, my dear fellow. What? Whatever for? It was designed to my first painful meeting with Mr. Naruto. You can experience the moment for yourself now, complete with my dramatic rhetoric as I get you arrested. Come along now, in you go. This will only take a moment. Really, Sholmes? Surely you could just tell me what you said. I forgot. Well, I uttered some brilliant remarks and opened the wardrobe to reveal the stowaway murderer. I think I'll just rebound in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes. There's a speaking tube here, look, though it's been stopped with some cloth. So the voices of the crewmen on the bridge aren't an annoyance, I suppose. Or indeed, so that the voices in this cabin aren't heard elsewhere. Could something like that have happened here that was for no one else's ears, do you think? Either that, or it could be to prevent snakes from entering. That's really becoming a favorite case of yours, hasn't it? Quite the exquisite glass, I must say. See here how it contains ice. I is something wrong, Mr. Jones? You suddenly trailed off. Ice, Mikatoba, ice! What opulence the first class passengers enjoy! Chilled drinks! Pardon? Could it be that the steamship is equipped with an electrical refrigerated cold room, do you think? Well, it's a luxury liner, after all. They have enormous refrigerators for storing all sorts of lavish produce as well as ice. On our voyage from Japan, we enjoyed culinary delights from all over the world. Hmm, suddenly Mika- Suddenly Mikatoba? The sight of you is making my mouth water! I will eat you! I haven't taken on the flavor of the food I ate, you know.
That's a substantial heap of clothes on the floor. They're mine now to sell and do whatever with I please. An overcoat shirt, a dressing gown. Momo cheeky, Momo cheeky, Momo hiki work trousers. Are that oh, Mom oh, sorry. Was okay, Momo cheeky. Momo Hiki work trousers, a Tanzan robe, a Haramaki waistband. Clearly, the clothing of a Japanese man. And clearly, Japanese men are unaccustomed to the culture of the wardrobe. It looks to me as though they've been throwing like a heap like that in something of a hurry. Indeed, you could help yourself to a Japanese man's shirts, perhaps. I'm sure you may mention a backing to view. I'd very much likely drown in my Shishiro shirts. No, I'll just buy an extra, buy extras I need. I think. The wall, the wall is only a different color just here. You, do you see? Indeed, what you have observed arises when a frame that has been hanging for some time is removed. Perhaps your friend is an art thief. Now there's a bold deduction worthy of a great detective, I'm sure. I'm sure. He may have been very well the elusive thief who has been plaguing France's galleries of late. I think perhaps we should focus our attention elsewhere, Shelves, don't you? That outline on the wall. I feel as though I might have spied something of a similar shape and size elsewhere. These are the rules of passage. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly prohibited. Additionally, there are several punishments for stowing away in the wardrobes and or travel cases. I feel the rules have increased since I last read them. Probably just my imagination. Mr. Naruto has inspired rule changes. What about the fact that they're not straight on the wall? Doesn't that strike you? <clears throat> you may be right. Probably just your imagination, though. A trifle. And you know what I always say, Mikotoba? There's, uh, there's nothing more important. There's nothing important about trifles. It's probably just my imagination, but I think that might be slightly off. Laboring material to keep passengers occupied on the long sea voyages. I found the mixture of classical literature and easy reading to be most satisfactory, I must say. Whoever well, stocked this bookcase with a hopeless heret heretic. There's no copy of the adventures of Sherlock shows, my dear fellows. We must sue the ship liner. Um, I'm afraid it's just me, but no, you're quite right. More blasphemous than overlooking the Bible. I am the Bible. I shall leave a copy behind. I just happen to have one with me. You're a true missionary in the Church of Great Detectives, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, sure, the Sherlock Holmes cult. The cult of Sherlock Holmes. Christoph has the cult of Sherlock Holmes. That's how he got all that lavish furniture in his solitary confinement cell. The Church of Sherlock Holmes, had, the Church of Great Detectives had him covered in that regard. That... That's a very sizable trunk indeed. Shichiro is partial to all things large. And a, rather, and a rather clumsy fellow, if he failed to notice that he left that behind. Perhaps he left it on purpose. It's lighter than you'd think, but it's still a hindrance to, to a speedy escape. Hmm, pity. It's locked, so we can't look inside. Surely five seconds from now, the situation will be quite different, though. Sadly not. It has a seven-digit combination lock. And I'm, not in the, and I'm not in a morose enough mood to work through all the combinations at present. You are, you are still here? Ah. Ah, Evil Seaman Strogonov. Hello again. I was beginning to think you'd never materialize. Eh, uh, you, you, you are waiting for me? Of course, I was expecting you to burst in with a hearty Russian profanity far sooner. I was in trouble with Captain because of trick you play before. Poor, poor is in Tishkin. It is all your fault. Ship is leaving port soon. Get off now. Of course, we shall disembark presently, my dear fellow. But first, there is something that must be done. What are you talking about? Why, naturally. The debunking of your deceit and the barring of the truth. Kakoi! I'm afraid I see through your lies. For one thing, Mr. Jigoku has not laid 
not yet left this vessel at all. Oh! Alright, but another, my dear Siemens Shogunov. You know exactly where the man is, even as we speak, don't you? Oh, how can you? Good, good gracious, Shobs. You mean, you've worked it out, all of it? It's really been too long, hasn't it, old friend? Ten years, no less. So, would you dare to join me for a dance of my intim... Im in it, uh, inimitable logic and reasoning. It's all Thorm can speak. Nothing would please me no would please me more. Wh what is this? Oh god, what was that spotlight? We have but minutes until the vessel wants to see. No games now. Your yellow eyes mean nothing to me. Time is of the essence. Mr. Stroganov, allow me to remind you of your earlier claim. You told us that Chikoku left the ship some two hours ago. Da! That is what I said. Sadly, that was a rather clumsy lie. You see, there is something in this room that quite clearly contradicts it. What? Ah, yes, of course. I see you've noticed it too, Mikatoba. Then please, do take the lead. What in this cabin shows the impossibility of Jigoku having disembarked two hours ago? Let's see what the last three years have done to your observation skills then, Mikatoba. It's been ten years since we last did the Shomes. Why, of course it has. Quite. Now, all the clues are, are here in this cabin for your eyes to see. But as I always say, you must not merely look, but observe. Observe, and the answer will become clear. So, impress me. I think I can manage that. Last good day, guys. Bookshelf. Pile of clothes. The large trunk. Okay. Stroganov himself. Take that! And now I am the victim. Mikatoba! No games now. Were my words, were they not? Hmm. Come, Jones, where's the fun life without a little fooling around, hmm? <laughs> Quite right you are! That was a close shave. I'd better rethink that before I'm the fool here. All right, the glass with ice. Joe Goku didn't embark two hours ago at all. That was a lie, wasn't that? Of course it was, and I had hoped you would be quicker to point out why. Otherwise, the evidence itself may melt away from our very eyes. Yes, I am apparently, I am apparently just out of it. Take that! Me, yes, Yuji with his tap dance. Perhaps you should have cleared away that glass. How dare you that the ice shouldn't have melted away despite being abandoned two hours ago. That's exactly what I was, yeah, that's, a, oh wait, yeah, never mind. Ugh! And this is what happens when I get two hours of sleep, really. It would appear that the man was here in this scary cabin until moments before our arrival. With that, with well chilled glass in hand. Get your mind off the reverse missiles. I want it! One might even conclude that somebody informed him of our boarding. Won't you agree, Mr. Stroganov? Uh, but why would Sushiro run from us? Before we consider that question, allow me to confirm one small matter. I w would I be correct in saying that these first-class cabins of the SS Groups are the same ones in which you and Mr. Jidoku are com accommodated on your voyage from Japan? Oh, that's... that's right, they are. I was in the cabin next door and Chichiro was, yes. Fifty days in this cabin during our voyage. As I suspected, for you see... There are traces in this cabin of a dark secret that Mr. Jigoku had to hide. What traces? I... I know nothing about this. Ah, this is news to you, isn't it, Mr. Shogunov? Shobs, what exactly are you getting at? As I said, there are traces in this cabin of some nefarious activities. Something that appears out of place, which I am quite sure you wouldn't have escaped your notice. Something out of place in here. That's the that's the this Mikatoba. The remains of that dark deed that took place in here are being masked by something quite incongruous. 
I must say, I didn't want to see ever doing this dance introduction with you again, Mikatoba. Not good, no, quite, but life is full of unexpected twists and turns, as we may, as we very well know. Now then, let's see if I can uncover the truth here. Yes, you have the floor, my dear fellow. Yes. Take that! Okay, good. Guy on the first try this time. It's the rules of badges in this frame here. They're obviously out of place. The way they're hanging crooked on the wall, as if they were pointing in here by a hurry. Yes, as I'm sure you already concluded. That frame was originally over here, in the, sh the shape and size of a perfect match. Da, ah, you are right. When the frame move? Hardly those observant of crewmen, are you, Mr. Stroganoff? I would think your captain is quite justified in having his reservations about your reliability. Ah! Oh dear, that really seemed to touch a nerve. So, Mika... So, Mika Toba, why don't you let that frame off the wall? That... that looks... like a bullet hole! What?! Who has been shooting walls?! Your star balls with big knife! I see the projector has been removed! Clearly, the careful... the careful occupant of this room has already disposed of it! Now then, Mr. Stroganoff! Ark! I have the distinct impression that you are attempting to shield said occupant! I don't know what you're talking about! Why would I try to protect Eastern Stranger? Ah, so we're talking about the same man, I see. Good. Ah. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this in no time, aren't you? Because there's some very noteworthy evidence that explains the reason why you're lying for the man. Yes, you've been told to keep up this pretense, as clearly shown by... I really don't know how to approach this one, Sholmes. Ah, my dear Mikanova, simply keep first principles in mind. Study your subject from every angle. And I'm quite sure that you'll see it. In fact, I put a wager on it. I'm so glad to see... I, so I'm to glare at the belt from all sides. Well, I can certainly do that. Take that! It's almost too obvious for words. Quite! The universal language of the world! Money! Ugh! And I'd wager that eastern fellow in... And I'd wager that eastern fellow in question... Is Sishiro Goku, yes? Ugh! So, I presume you realize what this means. There are clear signs that a crime has been committed in this cabin. And the way you're going, sir, you'll find yourself accused of being an accomplice. But, but... I believe you know, Mr. Shokinov. You know where Mr. Jigoku's hiding in this precise moment of time. As always, Mikitoba, in matters of deduction, the, fu the furtive glance is your unfaltering ally. Yes, I think you're on to something there, Sholmes. You found the, the chink in this burly fellow's armor. We need only to follow the man's gaze to know where our prey is hiding. The slightest flicker of the pupils, a minutely delayed blink. Nothing escapes my attention, even that which is barely perceptible. You could hardly call this barely perceptible, Shows. The man's turned his entire head. It's not, a, it's not exactly what you described as a furtive glance, is it? It's always too obvious. We shall let your tapping toes decide, my dear fellow. Take that! You turned immediately to look at this large chunk, didn't you? Ah! The truth is, Shichiro Goku was unable to escape from the ship in time, and is at this very moment doing his best to stifle to stifle his breath inside this trunk. If he still has breath to take, I fear he may be running dangerously low on air. Hmm. I imagine he didn't count on us making a nuisance of ourselves for quite so long. I think it would be in everyone's best interest for us to open the trunk as quickly as possible. But but how can we? Are you forgetting about the combination lock? We don't we don't know the seven-digit code. 
The combination lock can be opened from the inside of the trunk. Therefore, there must be... I've been in an arrangement for somebody to open it after our departure. Of course. In short, before Chikoku hid himself inside that trunk, he must have told somebody the seven-digit number for the lock. As I'm sure you can confirm, Mr. Stroganoff. No! No, I know nothing about combination codes! Don't move a muscle, my good seaman! Oh! Oh! Now, Mikatoba, would you do the honors and open the trunk? Uh, how on earth do you expect me? Uh, it's a seven digit number, remember? Quickly now! We have little time! Okay! Three, two, scene, yep. Okay, five. Okay, five. Okay. That was a two. Okay, that is a three. Okay, one. Zero, four, and then finally five. Take that! That, that did it! Open! You had... You had the medal, didn't you? Well, Eugene, you found me now. Now I have to kill you. Shishiro. I was really hoping beyond hope. I was really hoping beyond hope not to find you here, you know. But you're not entirely unsurprised, I take it. No, quite. I just wish you were some other way. Well, are you ever going to introduce me? Ah, your reputation precedes you, Mr. Sholmes. Ah, your reputation precedes you, Mr. Sholmes. I've read your stories on many of your exploits. Excuse my manner, Sholmes. This is Mr. Jigoku, my old friend and traveling companion. The devil's in the details, Mikatoba. I believe you meant to say your old friend and traveling companion. Who made the cowardly decision to flee the country without a word to anyone when things turned sour? I see... I see my reputation precedes me as well. What an honor. What? Well, Shichiro, are, are you going to explain all this? You know all but no, I imagine. What you didn't know, of course, is that three days ago, on the night before our arrival in Britain, an attempt was made on my life here on this very ship. By the Reaper of the Melee. Yes, I've since heard. Because you were once prosecuted by the Reaper, weren't you? Ten years ago now, mind you. And I had no idea at the time what a, a dangerous individual he was. Anyways, when we arrived in London to find the symposium was postponed until goodness knows when, it became all too apparent to me that I might very well be targeted again. So you decided to flee the captain without saying a word to me about it. I'm afraid so, yes. Of course, I realize now that I really ought to have com confided in you. It's somewhat surprising, I must say. What is it? What is it? Well, first-class cabins aboard luxury steamships are in very short supply. It's more than a little hard to believe that this one just happened to be available. So says the protagonist, so says the protagonist of some colorful short stories. Well, I don't care for your opinion. The cabin did just happen to be available, so I purchased the ticket, and here I am. I've just... I just so have I've just seen for myself the obvious remnants of that incident in this cabin. So you'd have already purchased your return ticket before we even docked in Dover, had you? To prevent anyone else taking this cabin and seeing the evidence, is that it? Eugene, I have nothing to say to you. Well, in a mere five minutes, the ship will be set off for its onward voyage and not make port again until Italy. I'm afraid we must insist that you disembark with us at once. You have no jurisdiction over my movements. I'm Sherlock Holmes! I have jurisdiction over the world! We have this, Shishiro. Take it. 
What is it? It's a souvenir from the Old Bailey. You're a man of the law. You know that what the ramifications of ignoring a document like this from the British courts will be. You, ca you came prepared then, Eugene. Come on, let's go. One moment. What is it? What is it, Mr. Sholmes? Is that Mr. Jigoku's trunk? I found this rather fascinating trinket. What? What is that, Chishiro? I can't help you, I'm afraid. Some small component from something. But what? I have no idea. I, but look at his face. I think he generally doesn't know. Well, let us pocket it as a small souvenir of our brief su su sojourn in France. Well, young Naruto, I, I think we've done as much as we can, I'm afraid. The rest will be on the shoulders of you and your assistant. Third of November, 12th, 12, 10 p.m., the Old Bailey courtroom. Kazuma Sogi, I know you, and I know you wouldn't lie, but still, there's no doubt that you're holding something back. You know more than you're saying. During the past 30 minutes, whilst this court was adjourned, all possible efforts were expended. But sadly, Mr. Chijoku's whereabouts could not be ascertained. We must accept the unfortunate conclusion that the Reaper has already done the deed. There's no sense in wasting any more of the court's time. The prosecution calls for an immediate verdict. No, the trial cannot end now. You're a Japanese man, Rinosuke. You should know when to lay down your sword. And you should know never to resume when the battle is won. The court has already been presented with all the evidence and heard all the relevant testimony. And there can be only one conclusion, that the accused is guilty. All relevant testimony, far from it. There's still a crucial witness from whom the court is yet to hear a single word of testimony from. In that case, call your witness to the stand at once, counsel. Yes, my lord. Tomorrow, if possible. The witness is already on his way and scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Who on earth is this crucial witness? Shishiro Jigoku. The very man alleged murder, allegedly murdered by the Reaper. J Judge Jigoku? You found him? But the, but the investigation of every police and resource in the capital suggested that Jigoku is already dead. How in the name of God did you find the man? He was located in France during the recess at the port of Dunkirk. Thanks to one of Mr. Herlock Sholmes' famous deductions. Herlock Sholmes? Inspector Gregson almost certainly met with Mr. Jigoku on the night of his death. Because along with Boss Yosogi, Gregson was on a mission to assassinate the man. Which means that Shishiro Jigoku is the sole witness who can clear, clarify exactly what happened on board the SS Groose on the 31st of October. Well, it would appear that it's too soon to move to education at this point. The prosecution concurs. The court must hear Mr. Jigoku's testimony. No judgment should be passed until all testimony has been considered. In that case, I hereby call the end of today's proceedings. Court will reconvene at the same hour tomorrow. No objections from either side? No, my lord. No, ob no objections, my lord. We live to fight another day by the skin of our teeth. To be continued. No, I'm not saving my progress.
The unexpected halt to proceedings sent a clamor around the courtroom. But outside the bailey, where Lunders knew nothing of the secret trial within, it was a typical still night. Then, at a little past 8 o'clock that evening, Mr. Sholmes and his partner returned to Baker Street. We have returned, my dear fellows! And I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.